Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. And if you're new to my channel, I, I welcome you here. This is my reading for my Scorpios. Um, today is Tuesday, October the 23rd, 2018. If you're wanting to get a tarot card reading, I have a sale going on today for $30. Call me at 347-227-5723 to get your tarot card reading today. Okay. Scorpios, let's see what's going on for you. This is a voodoo reading for you guys. And the first card you have is the Ten of Pentacles, which is Ocho C. The Ten of Pentacles is definitely saying that financial, finances is definitely going to be coming into your life here. You have the higher money, which is the master of your head. It's also telling that you need to follow your intuition a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you don't, because I'm quite sure you do. You're very intuitive, so you know. Listen to all your nudges and all the signs and everything that's coming to you here. The next card you have is the Queen of Wands, which is also a Mamba. This Queen of Wands could be a Leo, Sag, or Aries woman who's in your midst. Very powerful woman. Very creative. As you can see, this woman, she could deal with snakes. Mm-hmm. She breathes in fire and everything. So y'all know she's a dangerous person, but she's definitely in your life in some kind of way. So please pay attention to her. The Hermit card is here saying you're definitely, which is crochet. It's just telling you that you're going to be going inside, analyzing some things, getting the answers that you need. Then you have the Two of Cups, Grand Ebo. This is talking about a partnership here. So you're definitely thinking about a partnership here. Now, a partnership could have to do with work. Then this is have to deal with love. But for some reason, um, work is highlighted for you guys. So maybe you'll be changing some jobs. Maybe you're going through it with somebody on a job. Somebody's giving you, you know, the, some headaches on your job. Things of that nature. But it's definitely your job. is definitely highlighted here. Now you have the Five of Wands, which is Ogun, La Frambo. And this is talking about somebody, just like I said, somebody trying to play some tricks, somebody doing some underhanded stuff here. You have the Queen of Cups. This is definitely you, my Scorpios. I always said that the Queen of Cups was you guys because this is a water sign woman. She can be very mature, very intuitive, and she's a mamba also. Hello, somebody. You have two mambos so far. That's awesome. Very intuitive. She knows things. So, not somebody you want to really play with. You know what I mean? Look at it. You really want to play with that? And not really, because they're dark and sensual and they know things, all right? Okay. Um, the next card you have is the world cards. So things are definitely changing within your world here. They call it Carnival. But your world is definitely changing. You have the next card you have is the Five of Swords. Ogun for Raleigh. And you know what? This is somebody here with the Five of Swords. The first, the Five of Swords is the one with somebody trying to um, do some underhanded stuff. The Five of Wands is definitely, there's some competition going on. Somebody trying to compete with you possibly on your job. So let me just correct myself. That's what this one was competition on your job okay this one is somebody trying to do some underhanded stuff but you're fully aware of it because you are the mama you already know but you know what the next card is the ace of airs which is dumbali widow this talks about new beginnings here you always thinking always thinking no matter what you be thinking when people don't even thank you thinking hello somebody whoo you could be looking at somebody and thinking about a thousand other things we be like, why is she looking at me? No, they not looking at you for that. They somewhere else. Anyway, you guys, the next card you have is the sun card. Gross bondage. This is about pure happiness. So you're going to be receiving some happiness here. And there's also a Leo that could be involved here. Your next card is the hangman, which is a zombie. Mm-hmm. Try to look at things from a different perspective. Try to look at people, their spirits, and things of that sort. You need to look at whatever's around you. You never know. You never know who you could be entertaining. Okay, you have the moon card. So this is the magic mirror. It's saying that you're going to see clarity here. You're going to receive a whole lot of clarity. You're going to understand what's going on. All the lies, deception, and deceit. Anything somebody trying to hide for you, you're going to already know. Mm -hmm. You have the devil card. Toxic relationship here. Career, Lee Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Definitely toxic relationships, things of that sort. Bounded to somebody. Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful though? Wow. Look at that. 
Okay, you guys, moving right along. You have the Queen of Swords, so definitely you're gonna be angry in regard to the situation. I think this is gonna be you taking on this energy here. You ready to cut somebody's head off? Look at that. This is another mama. You got three mamas. This is awesome. The Queen of Swords is not somebody to play with. She's a very quick thinker. She knows what to do. She will do a shit, cut somebody's head off, put a snake on her head, and carry her sword in the same place. She does not play. This is not somebody to play with here, you guys. So, if you're taking on this energy, rightfully so, somebody's trying to do something underhanded with you guys. And they should be careful with that. They should already know. You have the Ace of Wands here. So, this is a fire sign card here. This is Dambala, La Flambeau. It's um very hot. It's like being very creative. Things of that sort. So, this is telling me that you're very angry in regard to something that's going on in your life here. Wow. Angry enough to cut somebody's head off. Mm -hmm. Not literally, you guys, but hey, you know. <laughs> the next card you have is the Five of Cups. So you're definitely in your emotion in regard to this situation. This is Ogun by Lin Dio. You're feeling you're in your emotions. The reason you're in your emotions is because you're already an emotional being. You're very deep like that. You know things. You carry your emotions, other people's emotions. If they walk past, you got them. <laughs> you know what I mean? You understand what's going on with people. And that's how y'all use people. That's how y'all not use people like in a bad way. But that's how you know people. You know what's going on. The things that are hidden that nobody don't want to tell you. Look at this. The three of swords. Definitely you're disappointed. There's definitely some endings here. This is get it. Get it. Do not play. Hello, somebody. Mm-hmm. Definitely heartbroken things. That's so things are going to be ending because... Maybe I have to just break up with somebody. Maybe I have to end something. Maybe it's already done. And the last card that came out for you is Ace of Pentacles. So this is also telling me, hello, Demir, that you're going to have financial increase here. I hope you enjoyed this voodoo reading. Please like, subscribe, comment to my channel, my Scorpios. Remember, I'm doing free reading. Not free readings today. What the hell I'm talking about? Damn. $30 tarot readings for today. Call me at 347-227-5723. Thank you so very much.